First up, eagle-eyed fans have been buzzing about Jojo Siwa's latest single, Karma. But hold on tight, because it seems there's more to this story than meets the eye. What started as excitement over new music quickly turned into a whirlwind of accusations and speculation, leaving fans and critics alike scratching their heads in disbelief. So grab your popcorn and get ready, because this roller coaster ride is just getting started. In a shocking turn of events, JoJo's been called out for allegedly stealing the song. The JoJo Siwa karma lore just keeps getting worse. Because people discovered that the original artist already recorded a music video to it. Here's We knew that this song was kind of a scrapped Miley Cyrus song from 2011, but something that people did not know is that the original artist, Britt Smith, professionally recorded the song and made a music video for it. And of course I looked it up on Genius and every single word is the same. Besides in the chorus where she says, if I had a wish, I would have never messed around, whereas in JoJo's version, it's effed around. But if you look, the entire song is the same, and so JoJo is taking credit for writing this song, and people had not heard the scrapped Miley Cyrus song, so I think people assumed that it was changed it like at, in some way before JoJo put it out, because she, made, she makes a point of, in her interviews, talking about this rebrand, talking about how the song is so special, and how she like wrote at least parts of it. But that is not true, and this song did like legally get sold to JoJo, however, no one knew that it was already like mastered, recorded, and a music video was made for it. Like it was produced by Rock Mafia and Timbaland in 2012, and the song name was slightly different when Britt Smith did it. What's funny is the fact that if you go into the produced by on Jojo Siwa's version, Rock Mafia is still listed as a producer, and I know that he didn't come back into the studio in 2024 to do this for Jojo, so she pretty much kept the original production of the song too which means truly nothing about this song is original. And so it just adds to the discourse that Jojo Siwa's rebrand is completely forced and it's not being fueled with original content. I also saw her do a listening party for another single that she has for this upcoming project. And it's literally taken from some girl on TikTok, like she sold it to Jojo. But there's a video of this girl singing Jojo's next single on TikTok word for word. And that is what JoJo is planning to release next. I mean, again, like this is all done legally because JoJo's team is being sold these songs. Um, but I don't think anyone knew that the original Karma literally had a music video recorded for it and you can go find it on the internet and it's literally the exact same. It's on Genius, it's on YouTube. And Britt Smith isn't credited on the Spotify version, which I find really interesting. On JoJo's Spotify version, which I find really interesting because Britt's isn't on Spotify anymore. Or maybe never was. Yep. You heard that right. Fans are pointing fingers and accusing her of not keeping it original. Talk about a plot twist. Social media platforms erupted with heated debates as loyal supporters defended JoJo while critics questioned her integrity. JoJo Siwa and her label are getting called out for allegedly stealing other people's music. Worst part of all, she is claiming that she wrote the song. The other day, JoJo Siwa had an album listening party where she claims this new song is written about her ex. The song she starts playing is actually a song written and recorded by Emmeline, who put this out in 2022. Now, if you go look up Emmeline's song, you'll notice that JoJo didn't even change Emmeline's voice. Hence why she's lip singing. Now everyone online's flipping out because they're like, Emmeline clearly didn't own the rights to the song. Emmeline actually tapped into all this drama and told her side to what was happening. Only time will tell as the saga of karma unfolds before our very eyes. Uh, could this be a publicity stunt gone wrong? Or is there more to the story? Because the speculation intensifies, the line between fact and fiction blurs, leaving fans on the edge of their seats eagerly awaiting the next twist in this gripping saga. But that's not all. Jojo Siwa, the darling of the music world, is at the center of a fiery feud with none other than YouTube sensation Tana Mojo. The tension between these two has been brewing for weeks, and now it's reached a boiling point. It all started innocently enough when Tana decided to poke fun at Jojo's latest single, Karma in a now viral video. I was a bad girl. I'm doing bad things. You think she's ever taken like a perk 30 and like cussed somebody out? <laughs> but Jojo wasn't about to let Tana's mockery slide. She clapped back with a vengeance, igniting a war of words that's been playing out in real time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I actually texted her. I just sent her her own video and I said, LOL. 
And she was just about ha 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 ha. But I was like, you just said LOL. I think that's what I said. Let's let me see. I said I said. But her being ha 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 ha. I said ha, first question no, second question yes. Ha ha ha. She responded ha 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 ha. But the thing is, saw Tana tomorrow. Be like Tana, She'd be like Jaja, what's up? Yeah. But then to do that, I'm like wait. It's just to get the views. That's why I appreciate that James reached out being like, hey, do you care if I... And you, and like, but you don't? Why did you... Well, for me, I mean, look, that's... It, you, if, on a, if you had it, I mean, it does, it does promote your song. Yep. James Charles does have a massive, massive platform. Following. Yeah. I mean, press is press, and I get it. But at some point, it might, like, you're putting your heart and your soul in this. You're literally paying for oh, it, doesn't it? Like... It burns. It hurts a little, It fucking right? burns. It burns. Our girl Tana also clapped back at JoJo when she was a guest on Just Trish podcast. Let's see what she had to say. I feel like I raised, like, the JoJo Siwas of the world. <laughs> I feel like that's the mini Trish. <laughs> and I'm so sorry to everybody. <laughs> I'm just like, well, what did she say? So she, um, okay, so it was in the 17-minute mark, if you guys want to go to the Vile Files. <laughs> so she said that, um, oh, he was talking about people making fun of her music, like, mocking it. And okay. she said, he brought up James Charles first, and she's like, well, James texted me and asked me if he could post that weird, vi he was, like, dancing like her or something. And she was, so it was fine. We're cool. Um, she's like, but the one that got, and then they said Tana. They brought up Tana, right? Okay. They're the host brought, bring you up, and they're like, um, what about Tana? And she's like, well, that's the one that gets me, because we're, like, cool. She did clarify you guys weren't, like, friends, but you were, like, friendly. Like, last time she was on the podcast, she said that you guys were going to have a fun night or talking about having a fun night together. That was right. That's what she said. I, mean, I literally just watched it, like, an hour ago. So she's like, you know, we're cool. We've always been cool, whatever. And I was like, okay. She said I did her podcast, talked about having a fun night. Okay. And then she goes, so that one, that one she was mocking me, so it hurt a little. I don't know in what world she thinks I would ever be texting her to ask her for permission <laughs> to make that video like well, that, that's what's even that, crazy. hey jojo like I'm, I'm gonna post a video asking if you've ever taken a percocet no okay you made the, uh, wait what was wait i thought your video was just you singing in makoa was there a percocet oh, there was two. oh okay so i was like well that's not bad no i i made a tiktok and the question still stands okay yeah. not to, maybe i'm a narcissist for saying this but like i wanted her to see my tiktok and giggle ha ha he he well like, she said she did she said she texted you and said lol she sent you the text and said lol and she said you wrote back ha 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 yeah she did and i did say ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so she found it funny she said lol yeah. say this with grace but sometimes it's hard to humanize like it's like yes. some shit's just a meme and like you know what i mean but i think she wants it to be a meme i really think that don't you That's think what i'm saying I think she like <laughs> she honestly made me want to reignite my music career oh i was my like God, shit. you should like, i would love a bad well no you did rebrand but you're like the good girl tana now you were the bad girl and now you're true. good girl tana it's like i'm seeing all this resurgence of like people in their kesha era and tari oh, yummy and that music and that's like who i am to the core yeah. so i'm like you want to go bad again i don't know what i want to do. do a remix of jojo siwa i might have to I'm no i live don't. for it i don't love jojo as a person of like defending mm. Helene and the stuff with the extra gym gym. I don't love also that. the thing is it's like I feel like we were really cool her and I I had her on the pod like whatever and then that shit happened and then I kind of like was like okay whoa 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 like let me back right. up a bit so like of course I'm gonna make fun but also <laughs> I feel like that's just but what's really going on behind the scenes is this feud just a publicity stunt or is there genuine bad blood between these two megastars uh, the internet is buzzing with theories, and we're here to break it all down for you. Some speculate that this feud is nothing more than a carefully orchestrated PR move, designed to keep both JoJo and Tana in the headlines. After all, controversy sells, and what better way to stay relevant than by stirring up drama? On the other hand, others believe that there's a deeper, more personal animosity driving this feud— Rumors of past disagreements and unresolved tensions have only added fuel to the fire, leaving fans wondering if there's more to the story than meets the eye. But perhaps the truth lies somewhere in between. Could it be that Jojo and Tana's feud started out as a playful jab that spiraled out of control? Or is there a calculated strategy at play with both stars leveraging the drama to their advantage? What do you think is the real story behind the JoJo Tana feud? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates on your favorite celebrity feuds. Until next time, this is Spillet, signing off.